New at 6, we're taking you behind the process to flip Van Andel Arena between basketball and hockey. The Griffins played an early game at 11 o'clock this morning, leaving crews a very tight window to remove the basketball court following last night's Grand Rapids gold game. It is a process that will happen dozens of times for the first time in decades as the gold bring basketball back to the van. News 8's Joe LaFergie shows us how it's done. When the horn sounded last night, the gold job was done. Kevin Abba's job was just beginning. I gotta stop doing what I'm doing in my office and uh, you know, I usually get out here and help the guys get started, you know, doing the conversion over to the next event. Abbott is operations manager for Van Andel Arena. It's his job to make sure the setup matches the event. He's been here since the arena opened in 1996 and he knows the place like the back of his hand. It's been a wild ride. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Tuesday night, Abbott and his crew had just about 14 hours to go from basketball court to hockey ice at Van Andel. They're used to changeovers. They do it all the time for everything from concerts to monster trucks. But the return of basketball for the first time since the Grand Rapids hoops left Van Andel in 2001 means extra work for the crew. Probably around uh, 12 more changeovers. Um, Falling in between, you know, concerts as well, so that might add more changeovers, you know, depending if we're going from hockey to gold or from hockey to a concert to gold. Think of these guys as Van Andel Arena's version of a NASCAR pit crew. Everybody has their job to do, and timing is everything. This shows what the switchover from basketball to hockey looks like in about 40 seconds. It takes close to 70 people to get the job done. First, the court comes up one section at a time. Then we bring out the glass carts and uh, a bunch of the other equipment for setting up the hockey. And once we're done with that, we'll pull the floor up and then we'll do the ice maintenance. The ice doesn't melt. It stays cold the whole time. We have something called an ice deck that we put over top of the ice. And it's actually only an inch thick, but still insulated enough so that the floor doesn't get, you know, sweaty or too cold. They've got the process down pat. The challenge is people. Like just about every other business, the arena has had a tough time hiring workers and getting them to stay. Despite those challenges, the show must go on. Abbott and his crew make sure of it. We've got uh, a good crew of solid guys that uh, know, actually know what they're doing really well, so they're able to train and get everybody up to speed pretty quickly. By about 2.30 this morning, five hours after the gold game ended, the switch was complete. Puck drop for the Griffins game with about eight and a half hours to spare. Kevin Abbott and his crew got some sleep, ready to get up and do it again. Do you ever sit in the stands and watch a game after this and say, I made that happen? Um, I don't have time. <laughs> in Grand Rapids, Jill Fergie, News 8.